Hey, it's Russ, and today I'm going to talk to you about extending the life of your hair system. One of the biggest expenses for someone who has a hair system is the actual piece. So how can you make it last longer? Well, I've got 14 ways you can extend the life of your hair system. And even if you have a hair system now that you get one or two months out of, maybe you can get two to three months out of, and three to four, four to five, or even longer. This hair system I have right now is five months old, and it's in great shape. It will make it to six months. I'm not sure if it'll make it to seven, but it can with the proper treatments and actions. So I'm gonna go over a variety of things that can help you extend the life of your hair system, which in turn can save you hundreds of dollars in a year and thousands of dollars over the course of several years. So it makes a big difference how you treat your hair. So let's get started. First, we're gonna deal with washing your hair. You wanna wash your hair once or twice a week. Yep, I'm saying that, once or twice a week. You can rinse your hair, which is important, but washing it should be less because it's damaging the hair. And a lot of the things I'm gonna to mention today are about drying out the hair and how that, you know, that wears down the hair system. Two, when you do wash your hair, you want to use a shampoo that is good for your hair. Like, usually you want a very a gentle shampoo, one that does not have um, phosphates, the parabens, phosphates that damage the hair and dry it out. So you want something, I use Olaplex, it's pretty good. And you want to make sure that you, um, when you are washing it, that you are washing your hair in the same direction. When I had hair, I would mess my hair up to lather it up. If you do that, you're basically yanking at the hair follicles and helping them to loosen up earlier and they will fall out. So, first three, wash your hair one to two times a week. Two, use a gentle shampoo. Three, wash your hair in the same direction rather than all over the place, else you'll get knots which is gonna lead me to general grooming tips. The general grooming tips are rather simple, but they can make a huge difference in the life of your system. We're gonna start off with combs. The first thing is, in the first thing in the morning or out of the shower, you start with a wide tooth comb. That way, if you have a lot of tangles, you can deal with it gently without pulling on it. And then, if you want, you can switch to a thinner tooth comb to work out any tangles. So you start wide and go thin. Because if you start thin, you have a tangle, and you pull, again, you're pulling on the plastic on the hair system, if you have a skin or mesh, and you could yank out the hair more often. In a similar vein, talking about brushes, Go with a soft bristle bristle brush, something that has the teeth wide apart so you can gently comb and it doesn't get stuck, rather than something that has a lot of tight bristles together where you can't even see to the base because what happens if you get it in there, it, by the time you get in there, it's pooling. Every pool is going to remove hair and you don't want that. So use a soft bristle brush if you do use a brush with wide teeth. So that sounds <laughs> kind of weird. But uh, the next thing is, so let's say out of the shower, and we all have this at different times, you come out and you have tangles. A good way to deal with tangles? Well, you lift up the tangle and you pull it away from the hair, kind of like how they cut your hair. Work with the tangle without pulling on your skin or your mesh and slowly work the tangle out, starting with a wide and then going to a thinner brush. And you can even go to a thinner, you know, where the, where the brush, the teeth are thin, close together to get the tangle out. Again, you don't want to pull because you're literally going to pull hairs out of your, your hair system. And the fewer hairs will mean that, hey, you know, you don't want to wear it when it thins out. It just doesn't have that same healthy look. Like is, and that's the reason you got the hair system. Now, moving on to seven. Yeah, we're already up to seven. Hard to believe it. <laughs> Leave-in moisturizer. 
this is a godsend because what you need to do is you put a little dab on your in your hair during the week or whatever on certain areas and it helps moisturize now there are different ones out there but you want a you know a gentle one i put it in and then actually i take a comb and i comb it through because i know with my fingers i'm not getting it deep into the roots but this is something during your regular treatments or removal of the hair to help keep it from drying out because once again if it dries out it gets brittle brittle it can break and you know your hair doesn't look as good over time so that deals with putting moisturizer back in your hair the next one i'm gonna make this really easy on hair products yes you can use hair products use your clay your pomades use your you know Whole styling holding. What do you not want to use? You do not want to use hairspray. Hairspray makes the hair brittle. It also dries out the hair extensively. I mean, because it is a lot of alcohol and glue. And what does that do? It makes your hair crunchy, crispy, and dried out and makes it able to break. And if you use it, you're going to have to wash your hair. So use it sparingly if you are going to use it. The last one in this little section is going to be about sports. There's really only one sport that you have to be really aware of, I think, um, with a hair system that damages the hair system, and that's swimming. And that's because of the chlorine in the pool. It dries out the hair extensively. So if you do swim, and if you want to make your hair system last longer, swim less and now we're going to move to move on to hair system removal and cleaning now when we talk about hair system removal and cleaning what am i talking about well i'm talking about when you're taking the hair system off doing your maintenance and placing it back on what steps can you take to make that system last longer this first tip in this section is probably the one that can save you the most money over the course of a year. And it is simply to extend the life of your system between cleanings. So if you're doing it, going into a stylist to have your system worked on, can you take, if you go in every two weeks, can you make it every three weeks? And if you're going every three weeks, can you make it every four weeks? Because what happens every time that you take your system off, it's kind of like saran wrap, the mesh expands and stretches. And as it expands and stretches, it loses, you know, it, you, it's elasticity and you get gaps in between the mesh and those grow. So over time, your hair has a chance to loosen up and fall out. So if you can extend the life, move from two weeks to three weeks or three weeks to four weeks, you're going to gain an extra month or two over the course of a hair system. And that can add up to hundreds of dollars over the course of a year. The other thing that can keep you out, which also is a concern, is um, can you do your own touch-ups between treatments? I've been going to the gym, and what tends to happen is I tend to get this area in front that loosens up because I'm sweating at the gym. I might have to do a small minor touch-up. And if you can do that at home then you don't have to go in and have your system totally removed you're not stretching it and it'll you know it helps the system last longer so learn to do your own touch-ups and that will you know reduce the dependency you might have on going in for minor emergencies to see somebody now when you take off the system uh when you're there's sometimes the system is going to the glue was really had a really good hold if you run into uh, time where it's holding and you don't want to stretch it because you want it to just roll off gently uh, get medical grade alcohol and a spray bottle and if it's sticking lightly spray not a lot of spray because it'll run down your face and your eyes you don't want that lightly spray give it a second or two to work on the glue and then continue to pull it off so it should be almost like a light Velcro pool as you pull it off. Again, by doing this, 
you're releasing tension and not stretching the system. So hence, you know, it'll last longer. Um, also, when you finally have the system off, you may want to use, I use, well, the guys use um, cotton balls to take the glue off. You do not want, um, you do not want to put your hair system in a chemical bath. Like some people do, and it, it really takes the life of the system down from, you're basically eating away at the system because the chemical bath that removes glue is gonna dry the crap out of your hair, make it more brittle, means you have to moisturize it so much more, and you may never get it back because it's damaged. So you can use, you know, a cotton swab, or some people use paper towels, and this isn't a swab, but a cotton pad, and wipe the glue off. If you have issues, you may want to put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, that 90 medical grade, on it to help loosen it up. Some people soak it in warm water, not hot scalding water, warm water to help loosen the glue and you literally rake the glue off without damaging this system because you want to be gentle. And then once you have the glue done, then you can move on to the next thing that's important and that's moisturizing your system when the system is off. Uh, you obviously want to give it a nice wash when you have taken it off but then you want to do a longer term moisturizing bath in a way. You want to add your moisturizer into the system to try and bring it back to as close as its natural form as possible. I just literally, I have washed it. Um, we put on, you know, the moisturizer, we slather it on. It is like a layer or a small paste and then Turn it over and there might just be a little bit of water at the bottom so it can sit. And this will help bring it back as much to life. And you can, I mean, right now, I just had my hair worked on yesterday. I mean, you can see it is soft at, and this is at five months. Make sure you give it a very good conditioning treatment. And then, you know, it should be good to go. And it should feel great when you put it back on. Those, it may not seem like it, but, or actually it might seem like it. These tend to run long and I, I always have new ideas I talk about during these things. Those are the 14 tips that I have. But there are two tips or two ideas that I have that can make your hair system look younger no matter what age. Once you get past like the three and four month mark, some things start to happen to your system. And depending if your stylist can help you, uh, these two things may make your hair system and your hair look younger. So they may it doesn't extend the life, but it may make it look better while you have it longer. And the first one is dyeing your hair. Now, what tends to happen when you have even in you know your hair tends to lighten in the sun over time. Uh, I don't know if you remember going out in the summer. My hair used to get this you know, orange highlights and more towards a blondish color. And that's what happens to my hair. Um, I get in the hair that system that I get, I get reddish highlights, which actually I got naturally before. And it looks good, but it starts to look like it's not consistent with my other hair, the further along I get. So basically in the fourth month, the guys start treating it with a dye. And, you know, they'd already, they know my color and they re-dye the hair system during my treatment. This way, it looks more like me. And as that goes out, it's gradual. Uh, by, and they have to do it every month. But it makes it look younger and makes it, makes me look better. So I'm all for that. The next one is if you have a mesh or a skin, sometimes what happens at the front of a hair system, and if you've watched some of my videos, you can see that the hair system sometimes changes in the front. Uh, what can happen is that the front follicles start to fall out over time. And so the guys that I go to will sometimes, and you, you're not taking much, they will literally take one 32nd of an inch or one 
you know, less than one eighth of an inch off the front of the hair system. So instead of it being, especially with mesh, I found that sometimes you'd, you'd be able to see where it was fraying out and it just, it became kind of obvious and then I became sensitive to it. And then I was like, I gotta get another system. I've moved from mesh to skin. I've just found skin works better for me, that's all. So, if you have someone who is talented and works on your hair, maybe they can trim your system along where things are frayed to make it look younger. Um, my only thought on this is if it's the first time they're doing it, make sure you have a backup system just in case something goes wrong. That way you should be covered. Um, if something goes wrong, you don't, if you don't like it. Uh, by you know, using these tips, you can extend the life of your hair system. And again, you can move it from being something that you have, you know, instead of having to get a new one every three months, you might go to four months. And if you get comfortable at four, you might want to try five. Um, everybody has their own preferences and everybody, their thicknesses are different. So if you get a 0.2 millimeter skin, you know, probably the most you're going to get out of that is three months before it rips. 0.5 millimeter is what I get. And there are thicker skins, which tend to last longer, but I think they're more obvious. I've just never used anything thicker than the 0.5 millimeter. Um, but the savings, I'll be honest, I mean, you saving several hundred dollars a year, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a year on a hair system because I'm extending the life is well worth making these changes. So consider doing it. You'll save money. Subscribe below because I'm always posting new and diverse content if you look at my different playlists. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today and are loving your hair system. All right, take care.